I believe compact design, with a natural sequence of functions and spaces, creates a clear and natural floor plan. It enhances the way we live, work and feel in spaces. Each centimeter is important in each project. With a little creativity, a small space can become a fully functioning home. My name is Caroline Potter. I'm an interior architect from Belgium. I am the owner of this apartment. This is Colin, our never too small creative director. We think he deserves a little recognition for all of his hard work. When he's on this little patch of land, he goes by the title Lord Colin. And it allows him to do this. Along with the land, he also received a certificate with his title and unique plot number from an actual piece of land on a Scottish estate. Established titles also planted a tree via one tree planted and trees for the future, and they will continue to do so for every order placed. You can also gift a lady or lord in your life the title they deserve. Head to the link to shop their Black Friday sale and use the code NEVERTOOSMALL to get an additional 10% off your purchase. It also helps to support the channel. The apartment building is located in the city centre of Antwerp in Belgium. It's on the edge of the university district and just a short walk from the central station. The apartment building was built in 1967. The apartment is 51 square meters. My budget was limited, so I came up with creative solutions and where possible, I did the work myself. The original floor plan separated every function. The bathroom was a dark space with no natural light. The kitchen was outdated and separated from the living space. The design idea was to create an open space with a central box which contains the bed and the shower. With only one window on the front facade, the goal was to get as much natural light as deep in the apartment as possible. I removed all of the inside walls to create an open space. Instead, I used a cabinet to divide the areas. It can be used for storage and also acts as a wall for the bed and bathroom. When entering the apartment, there is a large mirror, which is also the door to the hidden bathroom. Through a small corridor, there is one side of the cabinets from the central box. It is finished in a smoked, brushed large. The first cabinet is dedicated to the entrance area and contains a coat rack, boxes for shoes and bags, as well as space for keys, mail and bike lights. The clothing racks pull out and there are drawers and baskets for other items. The living room feels spacious. It is located near the front facade to enjoy the view and natural light. There is a green sofa and a side table. Two extra lounge chairs make it feel cozy and comfortable. I have some plants around the living area, which helps to bring a little bit of nature into the space. The floor of the apartment is a herringbone mosaic parquet, which I installed myself after taking a course. When I want to watch a movie, I use my projector, which is stored in the cabinet. I put it on one of the coffee tables and project it onto the wall by the dining table. I designed the kitchen in white with some additional texture through the terrazzo worktop. The kitchen has everything I need. There is a built-in refrigerator, a hidden washing machine, a combi oven, a dishwasher, an induction cooktop and hood. The sink also has a boiling and purified water tap, which is really convenient and quite a luxury for a small space. I custom built the open green rounded shelving. It provides space for plants and cooking supplies. The counter extends to a seating bench to make space for the dining area. The bench goes to the end of the apartment and has storage built in. The dining table is a simple round table. The central table leg is second hand and I added a new tabletop. It is big enough to have dinner with friends on. I also use it as a desk sometimes. Above the dining table is a flower pot pendant light by Werner Panton. A sleeping cove was created within the box. It can be separated from the living space by a curtain when entertaining friends or create extra privacy for the bathroom. 
I knew I wanted to create warmth and a feeling of home by using several textures and colors. The walls are kept white to create a light space and let the box pop. The inside wall of the bedroom has an opaque wall which lets natural light into the bathroom. I was able to maximize the space by raising the bed and creating storage underneath the podium. The bathroom is behind the mirror door at the entrance. Next to the door is a built-in cabinet that provides space for my makeup and bathroom supplies. There is a sink, a large mirror, a toilet and a towel drying rack. The shower is made from polyurethane. The color and niche with rounded shelves is the same green as the cabinets in the kitchen. The flooring in the bathroom is a light grey tile to make a subtle reference to the grey and white kitchen countertop. Since the wall of the shower is opaque, the bathroom is nice and bright during the day, even without using lights. With the increasing housing prices, a small apartment can be an opportunity for young people to get their own place. With a little creativity, a small space can become a fully functioning home. Now shipping from the US in time for the holidays, our hardcover book showcases 30 of the best small homes from around the world to inspire you. Use this code to get 15% off your purchase. Link in description. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com/submissions.